For more, let's go to Ankara and correspondent Jasper Mortimer. Jasper, what's the latest? Well, basically what Turkey means when it says uh, it will talk to Greece but without preconditions is that when Greek negotiators come to the table, they usually demand that Turkey recognize Greek claims to the Mediterranean seabed uh, and the energy deposits in the seabed uh, based on the many tiny islands that Greece has along the Turkish coast. And this gets to the heart of the problem. Turkey owns the mainland, but Greece owns the islands. And there are many of them. Some of them are very small, you know, no bigger than a square kilometre. Uh, and uh, they're very close uh, to the Turkish coast. Uh, there's an annual swimming race between one of these Greek islands uh, and the Turkish mainlands. Now, who has the economic rights to the seabed? This has never been agreed. It has never been delineated. But Greece naturally says, look, we own the island. So if there's a natural gas deposit anywhere near it, uh, it belongs to us. And Turkey says, no ways. Uh, you know, we own the mainland. And your island is a very small claim on any big natural gas deposit off our mainland. So it's it's an ongoing problem and it won't be settled unless it's until it's settled by the World Court or some other forum of international arbitration. But there's the wider context right now, Jasper, tensions over Libya, uh, the fact that you've got uh, France, Italy, uh, Cyprus drawn drawn into this. Just how tense is it right now where you are? It's not very tense, uh, that's for sure. Here in Turkey, we do not feel that we are marching to war with Greece. Uh, you know, if you look at the headlines in the newspapers of Turkey today, the main issue was coronavirus. A former deputy prime minister who broke away from uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's party and formed his own party, Ali Babacan, uh, has now uh, contracted coronavirus. The health ministry has announced that daily infections have reached over 1,500 a day. This is the big story. If looking at the uh, headlines on the websites of the big newspapers, sure, they've got uh, Javosh Orlu's comments. Uh, but I think underneath uh, those reports. Most Turks see this as uh, a pretty uh, normal uh, Greece-Turkey standoff. You must re remember that Turks don't fear Greece. Uh, in any military confrontation between the two, everybody knows that Turkey would clobber Greece. Yes, you're right. This is has a background of uh, what's happening in the Mediterranean, uh, Turkey and Libya uh, trying to carve up the economic uh, zones of the Mediterranean between themselves and extending their uh, uh, exclusive rights across the Mediterranean uh, in defiance of international law. That has caused tension. Uh, Greece has sidled up with Egypt and come up with a different map for how the Mediterranean's resources should be divided. Uh, the, the, the plans for uh, Israel to export its natural gas deposits uh, to Greece and the pipeline would cut through areas which Turkey believes uh, are its economic zone. All of this is part of what is going on. But uh, this is fairly standard fare for the competition, the rivalry between Greece and Turkey. All right, many thanks. Jasper Mortimer reporting live from the Turkish capital. Fresh demonstrations in Minsk.